everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make two inexpensive fall frames. I am doing this fall DIY video as part of a collaboration with Lacey Keith. She has a really awesome beauty channel here on YouTube and she's going to be showing you how to make pumpkin decorations out of old books. So when you get done watching this video, make sure to go check hers out and subscribe to her channel. I will have everything linked down below for you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. For this first project, I am using this 5x7 photo frame that I purchased for a dollar at my local Dollar Tree. The next thing that I purchased for this project was a piece of 12x12 scrapbook paper that I found on clearance at Michael's for 20 cents. I then picked up these paint chips in all different fall colors at my local Lowe's home improvement store. The last thing that I purchased for this project was this leaf punch in the size small from Hobby Lobby. It was originally $7.99, but I was able to use a 40% off coupon. The first thing I need to do is cut my scrap of paper so that it fits in my photo frame. So I went ahead and took the paper out and I'm going to take my scrap of paper, turn it over, place this on top and use this as my guide as I trace to make sure that it's the right fit. Now that my paper is cut, I'm just going to go ahead and put the scrap to the side and use that for a different project. And I just want to make sure that this fits into my frame before I move on. So I'm just going to take it over here and it fits perfect. Now that we have the perfect fit, we're gonna move on to the next step. I now need to start the process of cutting out my leaves. So I'm going to take my paint chips and my leaf punch. I'm going to put the paint chip in the leaf punch, press down, and then they come out these cute little leaves. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue that process until I have all of my leaves cut out. Once I punched out all of my leaves, I went ahead and put them on my scrapbook paper in the pattern that I enjoyed. And of course, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your frame and place it on top just to make sure that you're fine with any of the leaves being cut off if you choose to do a pattern like this. The next thing that I'm gonna do is just take my glue stick and glue down each of the leaves onto the scrapbook paper. And here is the finished product. Once I glued all of my leaves to my scrap of paper, I went ahead and cleaned the glass of the frame with some glass cleaner and just put it all back together and there you have it. It was really simple. I hope that you guys enjoyed this project. Now let's move on to the second one. For this next project, I am using this four x six frame that I purchased at Michael's for a dollar. I'm also using a small piece of sandpaper that I found laying around in our garage. I also needed brown paint and a paintbrush. I found this brown paint at my mom's house. I am borrowing it from her. Thanks, mom. The foam brush I purchased at Michael's for 49 cents. Of course, I also am using acorn tops. My husband and I picked them off the ground underneath the oak trees that were in the low shopping center. The last thing I'm using is this glue gun and I also have a few extra glue sticks just in case I run out. The first thing I'm gonna do is soak my acorns in this bowl of water just to get off all of the excess dirt. I've preheated my oven to 225 degrees and I'm going to take my acorn tops and place them on a baking sheet and they're gonna cook in the oven for about 40 minutes just to make sure that we have killed all of the insects that still might be living inside the tops. While my acorns are in the oven, I'm gonna get started on the actual frame. I noticed when I purchased this frame from Michaels that some of the edges were kind of rough, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take my sandpaper and sand the edges of the frame. Once I finish sanding down my frame, I'm going to take some of my brown paint and I'm going to start painting and I'm going to be applying two coats of brown paint to my frame. Let my frame completely dry, I put two coats of paint on it and I have my acorn tops that are out of the oven and they have cooled off. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my acorn tops and I'm going to place them on the frame and get the right placement that I want before I glue them down just so that there's an even spacing in them. Now that I have placed my acorn tops in the place that I like them, I'm gonna go ahead and secure them using my hot glue gun. So all I'm doing is just picking up the tops and gluing right around the rim. Be careful not to burn yourself. I've done that a couple times already. And then you just glue it right down. You're gonna have some excess glue kind of floating around your frame, but that's fine because once it dries, you'll be able just to pull that right off. And here is the finished product. I just went ahead and added a picture of my husband and I from the pumpkin patch when we first started dating. And I think that this is gonna add some really fun fall decor to my home. 
Here's one last look of what my frames look like together. I hope that you guys enjoyed this fall DIY video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you try doing this project, please make sure to post a picture on Instagram using the hashtag GlittersFallDIY. Thanks again for watching, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day.